So now um, um, we are able to access to the item, displayed item, deleted, reloaded. So if you click on the item now, if you click on update, we're going to take the data from the item and show a pop-up. Okay, sorry, not a pop-up system, pop -up. show a dialogue. Okay, when we show that dialogue, um, um, it is for us to uh, display the current data and uh, being able to update the data. So for that purpose, we're going to go on the dialogue. So look at our page. Okay. So at the end, I'm going to provide what is called a div. Okay. Data role equal to dialogue. Okay. Then um, data role equal to dialogue. I'll give an ID. So ID equal to uh, um, 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 update dialogue. Update dialogue, okay. Update dialogue, and then the you want to get the um, data role is header, okay. Then um, h1, this one is update dialogue, update product, okay. Uh, you're gonna get the footer, probably we don't need the footer, so it's a header is enough. Then the um, um, data role equal to main okay then class equal to ui content okay then we're going to have a form for updating over here we're going to have a form for updating over here and that form for updating we're going to it's going to be similar to the uh, add form so we're going to just go back to the add form that we created above there so here is the form for adding right so we're just gonna copy the form for adding. So we're going to call the form for adding, paste it here. Okay. So we need to change this one is txt label for new name. This one is txt new name. Um, this one is uh, txt new quantity. Okay. And this one want to change it name a new quantity. And the button here will say it is a button update. Well, this one is gonna be a button update. On click, we should call them to update products. And that, that we'll need to code later. Okay, we'll need to code later. Need to code later. Okay, so right now, um, we're gonna try to show this dialog when we click on the update button over here update button so we'll say when we click on the update button we're going to have the link is to the dialog okay this one is update dialog okay this one is update dialog we'll say data real data relationship is dialog okay dialog okay. So if we run this one, let's just try and see if the dialog is really working. Okay, if the dialog is really working. So let's just look at this one. Click on this, load. If you click on this and click on update, oh, the dialog is not working. Let's just see if we have any errors over here. No error, but it doesn't show the dialog. So let's just see. Oh, this, this one, uh, that one is the pop-up, yeah, they're working with the dialogue, update dialogue, okay, did we show the, this one is update dialogue, okay, dialogue, the wrong is dialogue, ID is update, update dialogue, okay, yes, it, it seems like right, Okay, let's uh, see the reason. Let us see the data row. Oh, okay. This one dialog itself is a page, and we're gonna say data dialog. Dialog equal to sure. Okay, dialog is actually actually dialog itself is a page. So we're going to run again. Okay. Run to run again. Oh, this one is a little bit slow. Oh, 
Okay, it's ready. So let's just go to this one, click on load. Okay, click on this one. If you click on update, oh, it's not bringing. Let's just see inspect. Uh, no errors. Okay. So, okay, let's just go and see. Um, data prone equal to okay. Update dialog. Okay, this is something going to update dialog. It's correct. Let me see. This one is the footer. Oh, okay. So this one it is set is a page. So we need to bring it out as a page or the another page. So it should stay here. So we'll do Control Alt R, Command Alt R to reformat the code. So it's supposed to stay as a separate page. So it should stay outside of this div, not inside that div. Okay. So it's um um uh, um one of the div flavor over there. So run. Okay. Let's uh, see, click on this one, load, click on this one, update. You have the dialog here now. You have the dialog here now. But then it seems like we have two things in here. Hmm. Okay. So click on load, update. We have the dialog here. We have the dialog here. But somehow uh, I see something not right behind that. Okay. Let's just see. Okay. So let's, let's see this one data relic the dialog and data dialog could ah, okay. So if you already use data relic equal to dialog, you can just remove data dialog equal to true over here or um another ways around. You can um, just delete data dialog equal to true and say the data rel equal to dialog over here. So I think just just delete this one and we're gonna keep the data dialog equal to true over there. So if you run again if you run again, okay, if you run again and you're going to have a look at it, load, if you click on this one, you click on update, yeah, we have the dialog over here, we have the dialog over here, with name, quantity, and this one should be update, not, not add, so it should be update, so that form is over here, the text is supposed to be update, okay. And the next step is that uh, we should load our data before this page is shown, before this dialog is shown. Okay, it should take the information of the current products, okay, uh, and put into name and quantity over here. Okay, so um, we're going to code a uh, decode behind over here. Okay, then we're gonna say uh, document dot on. Uh, a page v for show what page is that that one is that one is what is that page now that page is update dialog okay update dialog uh, with the id over there we're gonna call to a functions okay this functions what we're gonna do is we're going to take the current product Okay, uh, data access to the we're gonna access to the txt new name dot file. We're gonna set the values attribute for that. The value attribute is gonna take the current products dot um current product dot name. Okay, then we're gonna access to the txt new quantity dot file. Uh, txt name, new name and new quantity are here. Txt new quantity and txt new name are to the, um, sorry, here. Txt new name, txt new quantity are two of our inputs. Okay, we set the values for them. So we set the values for them. So we're going to, what is that? Here, okay. Uh, the values is going to take the current product dot quantity. Okay, so let's just uh, try to run it again and see if it's um, is able to take the current values and, and uh, display it okay let's uh, see this one now click on this click on load we're gonna update this one click on it click on update yeah you could take the prop one one okay close so click on this click on update yeah you can take prop two two that's it okay so next time we're going to write the function for this 
update methods. Okay, one of the function consists update methods. 